So just going to do a quick video on pump overrun on the Worcester Bosch RI boilers, how it's wired, how it works, etc. First thing we do is whip the case off the four screws. Remove three screws, this one's only got two, it's missing one. Slide that protective cover off for the cables. So in here you can see permanent live, neutral, earth, LP, and then LR to the right. It should have NP as well, that'd be neutral to your pump, but we'll go through that in a minute. So part of the breakdown Bible, chapter two. So this isn't in the original, this is one of the amended ones, Y plan wire and sequence. Then we've got the wiring sequence with pump overrun on. So it shows the LP and the LR on there. So basically LR is your live return back once it's gone through the program of the room stat the zone valve to fire the boiler and then LP is your pump live so when we're calling for heat we're getting 240 on LR it's hard to see because the cable's in the way there you go LR and then on here you can see LR so we've proved the program is okay that's calling it goes through the room stat room stats up all the way And then I haven't gone to the airing cupboard, but it's gone through the wide plan valve. It's come back on the orange, and that's why we've got 240 on LR. So next thing, let's test LP, pump live. So we're getting 240 on pump live, which is basically, like you can see on the diagram, it just goes from the board up to the pump to give it power. When you cancel the demand, you still get 240 on pump live for three minutes, I think it is on those, to get the heat away from the boiler to stop it overheating and damage the heat exchanger. So with no demand on, we're getting 12 volts on LR, so that's fine. But we're still getting the 240 on the pump live. So that's why when you go from a non-condensing boiler to a condensing boiler, quite often you need another cable down from the airing cupboard and that's for your pump overrun. And then that's obviously, like I said, stop the heat exchanger overheating.